Welcome back to Out There with Johnny, part two of the Astro series. This one's going to show you the physical hookups that I do for EAA, the cameras, the ASI Air Plus, uh, which is a step above the Pro, and it's a new product, and I'm testing it. So I'm going to show you the physical hookups and what we're doing. Now this is a iOptron SIM 25P uh, mount, which means a center equatorial mount. It's a center weight instead of an offset, like most German equatorial mounts are. This is a William Optics APO GT71 refractor. Um, it's made for astrophotography. And you can look through it as well, but I bought it because the clarity for astrophotography. Um, there's two different types of refractors, APOs, ACROs. ACROs, the, the glass isn't as nice and it doesn't cause all the colors to come to the same fo focal point. So you get this purple tinge around anything that's bright. Whereas the APOs, or this is, happens to be a triplet APO, it bends all the colors to the exact same focal point. So you get sharp, beautiful colors of anything you look at. And in the back here is a ZWO, this is the ASI 294MC Pro, which means it's a color camera, it's a 294 model. Uh, it's a dedicated astro photo uh, uh, camera, and it, uh, it's cooled, so it has a piezoelectric cooler that when I plug it into power, it'll cool it down to as much as minus 20 degrees C uh, ambient temperature. What that does is it reduces the noise that the chip generates because it gets hot. Uh, don't always use it, uh, but it's there. Especially don't use it in the wintertime. Um, and then the, the scope itself is at only 71 uh, millimeters uh, of, of uh, glass. It's a 420 millimeter focal length. So it's relatively wide filled compared to other scopes uh, that are out there. But I like it because it's small, it's easy to carry around. And then on the top here I've got the dual saddle adapter. Uh, looks like this. See that there? That allows me to mount a couple things up here that we'll get into in just a short moment. So let's start putting this thing together so you get an idea how this ASI Air Plus works with everything around here. So the first thing I'm going to put up here is I'm going to put the ZWO guide scope and guide camera. Now this is their scope, this is their guide camera, little camera. I'm not going to take it out because I have the focal set uh, focal point set because you have to manually slide it around and find it and because we're going to be going out with this later tonight I don't want to uh, have to go to reestablish that focus so we're going to mount it up here just like that the ASI Air Plus the ASI Air Plus okay brand new just got it uh, this week this will be the first time it's ever going to be used we're going to slide it in the second mount you're going to lock it in place and I'll twist this around to show you what it looks like here. Now the way I like to do mine is because my cameras are back here, the connections are all back here in the back. What I like to do, and I'll show you here, USB connection, USB connections, USB connections. So everything stays back here. I'm not trying to wrap around to the front or anything like that. It all goes directly into the, into the back. And then my power outlets, which is on this side, as you can see here, okay, those, let me see if I get this to focus a little bit better. This aligns my power out on the same side my power connections are on the mount down here. So the cabling is not crossing over somewhere, it's on the same side. So even when the scope moves, because the scope can go this way, it can go this way and this way and this way and all the way back like this. It keeps my power connection and the scope pretty much on the same side on the same plane. So I'm not so worried about cables getting caught up somewhere and um, uh, pinching or breaking, uh, which would not be a good thing in the dark, uh, especially since all the cables are black. So let's start connecting things up. So let's take the first thing here. We're going to flip this around so you can see the back. There we go. 
we're going to plug into the guide camera and then we're going to take the guide camera and we're going to plug it into the 2.0 USB connections in the back of the ASI Air Plus. Now keep in mind from the Air Pro to the Air Plus they reversed the location of the 2.0 connections and the 3.0 connections. So take a look at that before you go out in the dark because if you plug it in and we think they are in the dark they're not there. You're plugging in the 3.0 camera into a 2.0 connection. So they did reverse them between the Pro and the Plus. Keep that in mind. Now the next thing we're going to connect is the actual main camera. So again, it's a 3.0. We're going to go up here and we're going to connect to the 3.0 connections just like that. Okay. Now all the cables are still connected. Now the nice thing about this is as this moves around, the cables move with it. I'm not worried about them dangling out here somewhere and getting caught up in something. It stays with the unit, which is very good. Uh, big plus there. The next thing is the power. So again, we swing back over here where the power side is. Get it around here. Okay. We're going to take the power. We're going to go to number one. It doesn't matter which one you go to. I'll just keep it on number one. And then because my power is on the other side, what I want to do is swing this back around, lock it in place, and then connect my power. So again, all my power is on one plane on this side. So when I start flexing things around, power stays here in, in line in the same plane as my connection. So I'm not wrapping around something. I'm not dragging it across something. I'm not worried about breaking it. Um, so that's there. And you can dress these up any way you want. Um, that makes it look neater as long as you don't dress them up to where it puts a bind on a cable as this thing moves. you got to be aware, be aware of all the movement that this scope can do during the night. It's especially bad if you don't get them correct and it does what's called a meridian flip. So as the object crosses the, the celestial equator, the scope can't track it. So it's going to flip all the way around to come back over to it. And if you don't have your cables right, you're going to break something. Okay, so again, everything's still connected to this unit. Nothing's going out anywhere. Now the next thing we're going to do is we've got a cable that we're going to connect into our hand computer. Now all the mounts come with a hand computer. This is what actually controls and drives the mount itself. All the commands come either from this or through this. So what happens is when I connect this cable, which is a serial cable, um, connects to this, it goes from to a serial to USB adapter. Okay. And I'm going to plug this into back to the back of the ASI Air back here into and this I'll just use a 2.0 because that's all you really need and then I will dress up this cable to where the weight there's no weight on it or anything it just sits down here nice and out of the way again I'm still self-contained on this unit I've got no cables going anywhere else we're doing so we're good we're good so far now We've got to get power to this. This particular unit, I have an AC adapter. It goes from AC to DC, 12 volts DC. You can use a battery with a, an aux adapter that plugs into it uh, and then plugs into this. What this is going to do, this is going to come to the front. And typically what I will do is I want to try to keep it mid-center, so I will run it down like this, usually. And then this plugs into another source for power. So that means this is the only cable out of all this stuff that goes external from the unit. So I've got a long extension cord. I run out of the garage. I plug it into this and it's laying down on the ground. And so, or the, if I have a battery case, the battery sits underneath the mount so it drops straight down. But it's the only external cable. Now, to operate all of this, you turn on the ASI Air Plus, which you'll see on a clear night, and then we control everything with this. No PC, 
no big cumbersome laptop, just this. This is uh, this particular model that I use to control this is a Galaxy S7 Plus tablet. You can use your phone. Uh, it could be a, it could be a, an Apple product as well, whether it be an iPad or an iPhone. Uh, I've got the I've got the Galaxy Fold 3, which works great with this. When you fold it out, it looks wonderful. But I prefer the big tablet. Uh, the other thing is I got the case like this because I can carry it like this. Now I don't need a table or anything. I can just simply walk around, do my thing, pull this up, da 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 da, do what I need to do, control, find something, fine tune, whatever, set it back down, let it do its thing, and then. When I start actually imaging through the, via the EAA process, which this does support, it does live stacking through this ASI Air Plus, I can watch the actual thing, the object, start develop on a screen. So I can see it. I can sit there and see it. I'm not, I'm not gathering hundreds of photos and then post-processing hours later and stacking and all that stuff. I'm seeing it in, in near real time right here. Um, and we're going to do that. We're going to take this thing outside and we're going to do that. We're going to have the camera pointing at this thing. And I'm going to set it on the table so I can have the camera look at it. And we're going to watch this thing start developing an object. I'll probably do, I don't know what I would do. It may do M8 because M8 is rather bright. And it'll, it'll happen fairly quickly. And it'll give you the idea of what we're looking for. Uh, and, what, and how this thing works. But we're going to step through the setup. We're going to see all the screens. I'm going to show you the ASI Air app, how it works. Uh, the new app that just came out, which allows me to monitor my power, we'll see that. Um, it's supposed to be a more robust processor, a little, maybe a little cleaner, a little faster, we'll see. Um, but uh, I'm very excited to get this out there and share this with you guys. So that's pretty much it for the physical connections, the getting in set up and ready. Uh, I'm going to go tear it down, take it all downstairs and get it ready for tonight. If it's a clear night tonight, we're going to go see this tonight. And that's it for now. Thank you.